make your own fake snow? How about your own hand warmers? Science Sam is here to help with some super cool winter experiments. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey. How's it going? Ready for science. Oh, I'm not coated up and ready to yeah. go. I'm honestly, I'm so pumped about this because mm -hmm. like science is pretty much everywhere. Of course. As we both know. Yeah. But especially with, with the winter months. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to show us today? There's so much going on. We're going to start playing with some fake snow. We're going to warm up our hands and we're going to end with some skincare. Oh my gosh, Sound I love good? this. I love the breadth of science <laughs> oh, we're yeah. covering. All over. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so what are we starting with? So real snow can get messy. It's cold. It melts. No fun. Mm -hmm. Fake snow in the studio does not do that. And it only takes two ingredients. You okay. can play with it for hours. Mm -hmm. It starts with this special powder, it's sodium polyacrylate. Okay. And you pour that out in a nice generous layer. You see how that's a nice uh, with powder there? Dusty. It's a really special chemical. It's a polymer, mm -hmm. which means it's lots of these guys oh, okay. lined up into a mesh network. See why that matters mm -hmm. when we add ingredient number two. That looks beautiful, Mary. Okay, perfect. So nice. nice. Yeah. We're gonna I'm gonna spread it out even more, and you're just gonna add water. Start slow. Okay. And then the more you add, the more it's gonna go from a powder. Oh, Maybe I'll help out with okay, this. Okay, I was like, I, when you say <laughs> slow, I'm going, I'm going. <gasps> oh my how, gosh! Right? You see how it's going from a powder, not like salt, which dissolves and breaks down yes. the powder. This guy gets fluffy, it expands. Whoa! It's a super, yeah, start playing too. Oh my gosh! Get your gosh. hands, get your hands get dirty, your, Mary. Oh my gosh! It goes from a fluffy snow, we add more, it becomes a packing snow, it becomes a oh. slush. It can absorb oh. up to a thousand times its mass. This is, I know. <laughs> this is way too much fun. Right? Like, it's so simple, but it's really fun. Where do I get this? <laughs> Anywhere. And this stuff, you'll find it everywhere. Because it can absorb up to a thousand times its mass in water, yeah. it's used in agriculture to conserve water in the soil. Okay. It's used, uh, florists use it to keep cut flowers fresh. Yeah. Um, it's also used for anti-flood bags. I'm going to keep going. It'll become a gel. Oh, very cool. And it's the secret for how diapers work. This is what's in diapers? This is in diapers. Diapers. Oh. Yeah, exactly. And it's really fun. Polymers. Oh my God. They're awesome chemistry. They're even used in medicine, different polymers. We love them. This is, and this is what the chemical kind of looks it's like? It's this mm. times millions and millions of polymers, like lots of repeating units. And this guy is a net. So the water goes into the net. Yeah. And that net holds true. It doesn't break. It expands. And you get fluffy snow. This is huge. <laughs> this is so exciting it's to me. so fun. Honestly. <laughs> Fun fact, Sam told me we were going to do this. I did not understand what was going to happen. This was a thrill. It sounds yeah. boring, yeah. but it's really fun. And it could keep going. You could play with it for hours. It doesn't melt. Fake snow, better than real snow. Key, and Hotel. it keeps your hands nice and warm yes. because you're not touching that cold snow. But if we are mm -hmm. playing outside in that cold snow, yeah. how do we keep our hands warm? Yeah, so mm. the key here, there's some cool chemistry. The key to know is that any chemical reaction, Mary, as you know, mm -hmm. has some transfer of energy. When yeah. you're cooking, you add heat mm -hmm. in your stove. Mm -hmm. We want something that's going to radiate energy. Okay. Okay. Radiate heat, keep our hands warm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know those hand warmer packets? Yeah. If you look on the back, the ingredients are something like this. There's some iron. Mm -hmm. We got that here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's some kind of salt. Mm -hmm. And then there's water and something to hold that water so it's not released till you break up the packet. Okay. So we have all those ingredients and we're gonna see that in action, see how it generates We're gonna heat. make a homemade hand warmer? We're gonna make a homemade okay. hand warmer. I'm gonna yeah. give you the bag and I'm gonna dump everything in. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, it's gonna take a second and then we're gonna mix it up Real good. The okay. first thing we should do, though, is just so that everyone believes me that this is generating its own heat, <laughs> we're gonna measure the temperature. Okay. Oh, so, that iron is heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's real I, metal. I know that seems <laughs> obvious, no, but... No. It's real metal. We got the real stuff here. Okay. Okay, so just check its room temperature. 72 yeah, that's about degrees about Fahrenheit. 20, okay, perfect. 20 Celsius. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm gonna mix in that water and start mixing it together. Okay. And keep the bag oh. a little open. We wanna get air in. Okay. And then if you really wanna get... Do you need a little more water? Oops, Maybe a little bit more water. more water. And if you just start mixing it together, you can seal <gasps> the bag. Do you feel some heat? I do feel heat. Yeah, exactly. So we're taking advantage. Let's give it a, give a read. What is it? Oh, wow, Ooh, it's quite hot. We're at, nine, we're at 107. It just keeps climbing. Yeah, keep climbing, yeah. Wow. So that initial, that initial heat's being generated from the, the salt actually breaking apart. That kick starts a rust reaction, that iron, just like what could happen to your cookware, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, and uh, cars as well can start to rust. Yeah, oh, that's hot. So the salt, yeah, it gets real hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And in the chemical hand warmers, that slow rust reaction is what lets them go for like 18 hours. But the salt kick starts it, and that's what we're feeling here. That is so cool. Yeah. So is this why cars rust more in like salty climates? Yeah, this, <gasps> when we put salt on the snow, yeah. you can rust the bottom of your car. That's what's happening accelerated in this bag and to keep your hands warm. So thanks, Rust, for keeping our hands warm. And also yeah. ruining, you know, and ruining, ruining our, our car. car. You know, <laughs> six to one, six to one. That is 
so cool. Oh my yeah. gosh, that is yeah, getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, it gets real hot. You, could, you okay? No, I loved it. I love a toasty <laughs> hand. Okay, so we've got our fake snow to play mm -hmm. with. We've got our way to keep our hands warm with that real cold snow. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna talk a little bit about skincare, you said. Yes. Okay. Because in the winter, the air is so dry that your skin can start to get dry. Yeah. And so we wanna add some hydration back and there's this technique called slugging. <gasps> it's really simple science. Have you heard it? I've heard of it. It's on the internet. I like yeah. to call it goblin mode. Goblin mode. Yeah. It, it keeps going viral, but it's been around forever. It's just a way to trap moisture in. Mm -hmm. So you start, it's simple, three steps, and it's really affordable. You start by cleansing your skin really good. Mm -hmm. You can also do it on your hands. You just want to avoid your eye area. You can do your face, do your lips. Mm -hmm. um, cleanse really good. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to put a basic moisturizer. Okay. Nothing fancy. This is not the time for retinols or chemical peels. Got it. Your skin is dry. She's, she's sad. She yeah. just needs moisture. <laughs> just moisture. Yeah. And then the key here, you could just go to bed like that. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, you block it in with an occlusive. Okay. We have petrolatum jelly here. Oh. Yeah. Petrolatum jelly. It's going to block in and repel any water. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see, yeah. What's the difference between petrolatum jelly uh -huh. and, because I've always called this petroleum jelly. Yeah, it's basically that. Yeah. But petrolatum is petroleum that's been really specifically refined. Oh, okay. And it's regulated by the FDA in the US. Okay. And in Canada, it's been tested to be free of contamination. Oh, right so on. So safe to use. Good, yes. okay, good. Good, good, good. worry, good. but it's safe to use. Yeah. So what it does is it blocks in, it's a hydrophobic barrier. Okay. And I have some, you have just a plain fizzy tab. Okay. And I have one that's been slathered in the jelly. Okay. And let's see what happens when we plop them in. Okay. Three, two, one. Yours oh. is fizzing as it does. Yes. The fizz is fizzing. The fizz is fizzing. Mine is not fizzing because the petrolatum jelly, the occlusive, it's such a good barrier, mm -hmm. it blocks water out. What that means for your skin, you got your skin, you got your moisturizer, then you put just a pea size amount of this jelly, not as much as I use, yeah. <laughs> on your whole face. Mm -hmm. That locks in the moisture so it can evaporate overnight. You wake up a glorious slug. A glorious yes. slug. That's or the goblin. That is, or a <laughs> goblin. That's exactly. That is fantastic. Yeah. See? All that moisture, and that's not wasting your money either. Yeah, it's blocked in, and it's affordable. Yeah. Right? You could buy a fancy thing, yeah. or you could buy this. But you're <laughs> keeping all that moisture right where it belongs. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, Sam, <laughs> that was fantastic. We got inside snow, we got heat, and we got good skin. Oh yeah. You're the best science Thank forever. You. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.